how to use Twitter to promote your OnlyFans business. So what is going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today we are going over how you can use Twitter now known as X to promote your business. So this video is for educational purposes where I am going to go over some of the methods that I use to get my clients amazing results on the Twitter platform. And if you are interested in any of my services, I have Twitter management services, I have promotional services to get you guaranteed fans to your site, then just again, reach out to me on Instagram. The direct link for that will be in the video description down below. So the first thing I want to speak about, if you are brand new to the Twitter X platform, you have not opened up an account yet. I do have to tell you, because I say this to a lot of my clients, because I have clients that are just starting out. I have clients that have had their Twitter accounts for a little while. So when my newbie clients come to me and they want my Twitter management services, I always explain to them that with a brand new account on Twitter, we cannot and you cannot just go onto the platform and just blast your way in a sense through the platform and, and just really have full reins of the platform. When you first open up your Twitter account, they want to see that you are going to be a contributing member to the actual platform. So you almost have like a grace period of a couple of weeks to almost a month to where they really give you free reigns of the platform. And anyone that is beyond that point, you know exactly what I'm talking about, where once they see, okay, they're posting, they're engaging with other content creators, you will then get a notification where they basically will say that you are now have a little bit more access or more access to the platform. So just make sure that when you are first starting out, you keep that in mind. You are not going to be able to get onto the platform if you are brand new, literally a brand new page, and you think that you're going to be able to kind of knock it out of the park from day one with a brand new page. You are going to have to get yourself kind of worked into the platform and into the algorithm. So your profile and bio. So you cannot have any type of spicy content in your profile picture or your banner picture. They will automatically remove it and you just don't want to put your account in jeopardy. So just pick a really cute banner picture and a profile picture of you that's really clear, good lighting, good quality of yourself that is just not that spicy. Now, when it comes to your bio, you do not have to write anything, you know, like super crazy in the bio where you think you have to write a whole long paragraph about yourself, something just catchy, enticing, and just something that is explains, you know, who you are, your niche, something like that, and your demographics, but keeping it short and sweet and then at the end of writing about your demographics about yourself is where I like to always add into all of my clients bio, you know, check out the link below for more. And I will just put a little finger emoji pointing downwards so that they are directed to that link below. In marketing, we call that a CTA, which is a call to action. And that is the action that you want them to take. You want them to go to that specific link. Now, please keep in mind, if you are using your Twitter account just to get your fans and followers to your OnlyFans account or your Fansly account, depending what you know site you're on, please keep in mind that if that is your end goal and your only goal, and I say this to all of my clients, then you are not going to have a third party link on there where now you're putting your Instagram. Now they can get to your TikTok. Um, maybe it has one of like an Amazon storefront that you have, right? If your main goal is just to get them and convert your fans and followers to paying subscribers on your sites, then you 
only should have what actual link you want them to go to. Giving them multiple options to now go to your Instagram, to now go to your TikTok, to now go to your Amazon storefront or whatever. That is only distracting them. You have to think of this as a business. And as a business mindset, you want to convert these fans and followers to your paying customers or subscribers. So you have to make sure that that link in your bio is the exact link that you want to put there so you can convert whatever you know fan and follower you are trying to convert them to go to. Okay, so content and scheduling out your content and posts, okay? And how often you should be doing all of these things. So consistency is key on any platform that you're on. You have to be consistent. As I said in the beginning of this video, Twitter and really every platform wants to see that you are going to be a contributing member to this specific platform. So consistency is key. Now that does not mean that you have to post five times a day on Twitter. You do not have to do that at all, but you should at least be posting once a day on the platform. So making sure that you can make out a schedule for yourself for 30 days where you know you are at least going to make one post per day and sticking to that. That is the great way and the best way to be able to get yourself into the algorithm and to get yourself onto the actual explore page and in front of the people that you want to get in front of. Now, with that being said, you do not want to put in your captions. Now, for years, I was telling all of my clients to not put hashtags or links in the captions because the platform was picking it up as spammy. But recently, the algorithm has changed a little bit and hashtags are becoming a little bit more in use again on the platform. Now, this does not mean to completely spam your captions of your posts with hashtags. You are still only going to use two or three hashtags on your posts and you're not going to do it for every single post. And I will tell you why a little bit later in this video when I get to a specific section. The same thing, I understand we all want to promote our businesses, but you should not be putting your links in every single post caption that you are putting um, that you are posting either, excuse me. So you want to make sure that your posts are an even amount of just a, cap, a catchy description and a catchy caption, and then other posts that will have a catchy caption plus some hashtags, and another one that will have a catchy kind of caption with a call to action, and then your link in that post. Now, I only recommend my clients doing that one time with a very enticing picture. And then what I have them do is just post and pin that specific post to their page. Now, every post on your Instagram page, you will see, excuse me, your Twitter page, you will see three dots, even though it's on Instagram as well, you will see three dots on the top right of each post. When you click on that, you will get a drop down where it will say pin to profile. So on your profile, the only post that you are going to have pinned, these are all tongue, tongue twisters, guys, that you are going to have pinned onto your page is going to be the post with your link. It is just an extra marketing tactic to really get your link out there to get higher conversions, but you are not going to spam each post with hashtags or with links. Another really helpful hint and tip that I do for all of my paying clients is when we make a post, what we do so that every post isn't super spammy with links in the captions is that we will now comment on our own posts 
that we have posted for our client and we will comment their OnlyFans link in the actual comment thread. So what that is doing is that it is opening up the thread and the engagement on the post and then everyone that is going to be commenting on the post will see their direct link in the comments. So you're still not missing that opportunity to be able to convert these followers and engaged viewers in the comments. You are still able to get them to see your link and turn them into paying clients. So after you have figured out your bio, your account, now you got your posting set up and everything else, Growing on Twitter X is not just about posting. As much as we all want to get on that explore page, and I absolutely help my clients do that, you also need to network on the platform. Now, I do this extensively every single day from morning till night. Literally, I love my team. Thank you guys for all your hard work. We do this all day long for our clients. Now, I understand that might not be really, you know, reasonable for you to do, especially if you have another job, but at least devoting one hour to this a day where you are going to be networking on the platform. So shout out for shout out is a great way for you to get yourself in front of a higher audience and a newer audience. Okay. So reaching out to other fellow models and asking them if they want to do a shout out for shout out with you. Now, please keep in mind, if you are just starting out and you only have 500 followers, if you are trying to reach out to, you know, a model that has 50 K or a hundred K, they are not really going to want to do a shout out for shout out with you. But finding someone that is another 500 to 1,000 or 1,000 to 1,500 and asking them if they want to network with you and do shout out for shout out that way is more reasonable and doable. Getting yourself in front of their audience is getting yourself in front of more eyes and more people. I really hope that this video was helpful for you. If you have any questions, comment down below, or you can reach out to me on Instagram. I literally answer everybody. Until next time, guys.